Alright, what's up guys, YouTube, people, world, whoever. Anyways, I uh, got the harness all on, the truck, the 4chan, big old monster truck, big old beast. Oh, jeez. So, I don't know, probably can't even see anything, but anyways, got the, that's the new wire harness, goes all the way up. Oops, pushing buttons. Anyways, so that's the harness, goes all the way up, all the way up in here, all the way down in here, all the way down, and, and everywhere down here, so all the way up here, goes all the way over there, all the way back there to the DEF stuff, oh jeez, oh my gosh, my nephew's retarded, man. I swear that kid's got some type of ogreism. See him poking his head out of the hood? He's, I kid you not, he's right there working on that pile of junk DSM Eagle Talon. That's his Eagle Talon. That one's alright. And then my other nephew, his brother, bought an Eagle Talon in 93 piece of junk. Anyway, they're, all, they're ugly. If you like them, whatever. Do what you zone. Anyways. So, so this is all the new harness here. Goes all the way up. All the way back. All the way back. Those are all the DPF sensors. Whatever all those things are. Transmission. It's basically the tranny. Transmission harness. Oh, anyways, cleaned all the, cleaned the doors, the seats, I cleaned the seats, I cleaned, these are uh, seat covers I bought for the work truck, the other work truck, the Ford, and they wouldn't fit because they got the seat belts in here that are in the seat, so I used them on these, but I cleaned the seats um, as good as I could, there was a lot of I don't know, milk staining or something, or something was all over the seats. Um, cleaned them all and then scotch guarded everything. I just haven't cleaned the floor yet. I, won't, I don't want to clean the floor until I'm done, completely done with the truck, but all the seats are done. Besides that, I don't know what that is on those. But, oh, dashboard's all cleaned. There was a sticker right there for Texas. But anyways, so I got that all off. I just need to clean the windshield or maybe just get a new windshield. I probably won't get a new windshield because in Colorado, rocks flying up. Um, I think I showed you guys in the previous video uh, a clamp, like a ratchet strap, flew up from a semi-truck and smashed the windshield. So, uh, I'm using this stuff <clears throat> not sponsored by these guys or anything um, West Coast Customs it was into interior detailer I don't think it works that great but it's a lot cheaper Igor. anyways it's a lot cheaper I'm using that on the panels and stuff oh, and then using this stuff on the carpet and stuff and things like that. <laughs> Anyways, and then... Oh, man. I'm just using some 3M Scotch Guard on the seats to protect them. So like, oh, I just, I just basically, I hose down this seat because I like to, I like to put my drink, you know, Rockstar or whatever I'm drinking, iced tea or something. I like to put it between my legs and drive instead of using a cup holder because I just don't like I don't like the distraction of reaching but whatever anyways uh so yeah I sprayed basically this here a bunch all on the sides a bunch and then the passenger seat which I'm sitting on a bunch with the scotch guard but anyways I got a uh, lady who's going to flash the computer hopefully 
on Wednesday. I don't want my brother to know because he's been acting like a douchebag lately. Anyways, so yeah, that's basically what's going on with the truck. I've just been waiting for that harness. Finally got the harness. Got the harness in this weekend. So I picked up the harness on Friday and got the harness in Saturday. And then it was just got so cold Saturday night after we got back from shooting that oh, I just didn't want to do anything. My fingers were frozen and everything. So... Um, and then the inner inner fender wells in the bed of the truck. I got these little ladder racks on it. Which aren't that... Okay, not what I'm used. I just wanted to get them out of the way to clean the bed of the truck. And then... Uh, yeah, basically I have this... This whole tote here. It's full of all old parts, electric parts, and stuff like that, and things like that. Um, this harness is the harness that came with the engine. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to sell those or anything. Stupid chicken. His name is Berto. Because he sits on that tractor right there and just sits there and balances on the seat and my brother's name is Berto so and my brother always tried to be tough guy and balance and whatever anyways whatever <laughs> it's a long story anyway so then these are all the parts that are going to get cleaned so this is the crank if you've ever seen a uh, Cummins crank it's pretty big Wish I could uh, get one of the pistons out, but they're way down there at the bottom. Um, oh my gosh! Uh, I knew I shouldn't have touched anything. <laughs> this is no matter what I touch on this, on that engine or near that engine, and then it just gets worse. Yes, anyway, so that's the extra fan I have for it. The oil pan that's all bent. So this oil pan's all smashed and bent. Um but yeah, all this is gonna get all cleaned. This whole bucket is or this gallon thing's all full of bolts and nuts. Um but probably once I get it running and going and registered and everything else, I'm gonna load all this stuff up. And uh, take it and get it all dipped and cleaned and hot tanked, basically. And, uh, man, this stupid, this stupid oil gets everywhere. Anyways, I also have a uh, something that's pretty cool. When my nephew bought that Talon thing, this guy that he bought it from, his brother basically died. And, anyways, he had a bunch of crap over there and... I got this, this big old piston. Oh my gosh. So, I don't know if you guys follow on Instagram, but it's huge. So, I don't know what it's out of. It says S U Z U S A, but I can't find anything else on it. But it is cracked right there. I don't know if you can see the crack right underneath the uh, the pin the wrist pin there's a crack but anyway so it's not ouch <laughs> it's not out of this motor because as you can see that's the piston hole and then this thing is as wide as the block is shut up go away stupid chicken but anyways I thought it was pretty cool he gave it to me But, yeah, I don't know. It says standard STD on it. It's got STD. That's why it's cracked. Because um, I have another one that I made. Wow, oh, she's a single squeeze a ton. 
Anyways, I didn't make, I mean, I made a uh, statue, a sculpture, but I don't know if you can see the crack. But, anyways, that's it. That's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to go put this away. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a huge piston. I have one at home that I made that statue. My lawn art. And, uh, yeah, it's not as big as this one. I think this one's bigger. I think this one's made by, like, a Zuzu or I don't know who it is. But the one I have at home is a Cummins. But, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, you guys know what to do. Thanks for watching. Later.